Hey everyone, Tom from Ludicrous Feed. Thanks so much for joining us. Today we are in inner Sydney to check out um, the very first uh, EV pole charger or you know street pole charger in Sydney uh, that's officially for use, uh, put in by Ausgrid, managed by these guys here, EVX Pole Charger. And uh, if we look at the actual unit itself, uh, you know, it's fairly sizable. It's about the length of yep, my arm and torso. Um, and if you look at the actual unit itself, down here we've got two Type 2 ports. So, there we go. There's one Type 2 there. And then we'll surround the other side in a second, but uh, I'll show you the features first. So you can actually scan this QR code to download the app, and we'll show you that too as well. There's a phone number there if you've got any issues. And then potentially maybe an RFID card as well. Oh yes, there we go. So, scan QR code to download app, plug in your charging cable to start and end charging use, use the app or the RFID card. Um, and I've read in the app, you can actually hook up your previous RFID cards from another provider to your account. So you can actually use an RFID card that way. But we'll use the app today just to show you what it's like. And we'll swing down this way now to the other side. And it looks like there is another port as well, another Type 2 port. And all similar instructions too. Let's have a look at the spots itself now. So we're parked in spot number one. And um, it's fairly well marked, blue paint on the ground. EV signage, so you know it's clear enough. I think uh, it's an EV charging spot. And if we look at the um, street signs here, I might come over to this one. So every other spot beyond this spot is ticketed, and then you look at the no parking signs. They're accepted while charging at all other times for EVs. And then there's a 4P below that, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, with an EV sign or EV car and then only while charging. So 4P, you're allowed to stay here for four hours to charge. Now, I guess these power pole chargers make sense in like high density living, and we are in inner Sydney. So um, let's see, like Anglicare Village. Um, looks like there's a church building there. And then obviously you can see ahead, that's Sydney, that's Centre Point Tower. So we're really very close to the city. Is there high density living around here? Um, I suppose so, maybe beyond these streets. There's some more sort of flats and units and things, but certainly more dense than uh, out in the suburbs. Childcare centre, some more terraces over there. So yeah, I think that's a reasonable place to put uh, the first EV charger. Um, it's also to do with the fact that uh, a lot of the apartments and houses here and terraces don't have off-street parking. And that could be a block to uh, EV ownership because you don't have off-street parking. So having a power pole charger like this in your local area would be really useful because then you can park on the street and then charge your car at the same time. So uh, certainly very useful for situations in the inner city like this where houses don't have off-street parking necessarily. All right, so let's get going. Let's um, get charging. So I might go and uh, get the cable first. All right, so let's open the frunk. Okay, close it now. So. I think we will need to plug in first. I think that's what the instruction said. Yep, plug in your charging cable. So let's do that first. So luckily we've got a long enough cable. I think this is five meters. So this is adequate for most situations I've found. So let's plug in. Okay, open the charge port. Plug in. Okay, so as you can see there, just draped along the ground. I guess the only issue is that it might be open to vandalism if you leave this car long enough here with your charging cable sitting here. So that's my only concern, I guess, doing this out in the public. Um, okay, so here's the EVX app. So you can create an account, which, you know, obviously it's another app, it's annoying, but one good thing about this app is that it says, or just skip all that and go to the map. So that's one benefit of this provider. You don't have to log in or anything. So if I go straight there, here I am in St. John's Road in Glebe, just to show you where I am. So there's Glebe and just for those who know Sydney, there we go, Sydney's right there. So it's very close to, uh, you know, this charging spot right here. So let's zoom in and we'll click that one. There we go, type two, 22 kilowatt AC, St. John's Road, 75 in Glebe. So let's uh, let's scan where we are. So let's go to the QR code. Okay, let's see what happens. Boom. 
Okay, so here we go, Glebe, 75 St. John's Road, 22 kilowatt type two. Flat rate is uh, 50 cents per kilowatt hour. It's minimum cost of 50 cents per session. Uh, please log in to charge point. All right, so my apologies, you do have to log in. So let's do that right now. Okay, so my apologies, I take that all back. You do have to log in or sign up, unfortunately. So let's do that again. Okay, so once more, pay via and put in your payment. <sighs> Okay, one more time, take three. So you gotta do all this, but you should only need to do it once and then hopefully from then on it's fairly easy. So let's press start charging. Okay, I heard a click behind and this looks like exactly the same platform as the Jolt platform, another provider. So it looks like it's uh, you know done by a third party and different providers are utilizing it. And yeah, you can see how much we're pulling in a second. Hopefully that will start ramping up. Might have a look at the car and see what's happening here. It is flashing green, so that's a good sign. So inside the car, we can see that current state of charge is 69%. It's pulling 12 kilowatts, which is pretty much the maximum for the Tesla Model 3 Model Y. Even though it's 22 kilowatt capable at the power pole, um, you're limited by your car's capacity. So for us, it's 12, 11 sometimes, 12 kilowatts. Um, and it is getting the full 16 amps and 35 minutes remaining if we charge to 79%. And then we'll see how much energy we can pull in the time we're here. And I'll just show you what's on the app here and it is starting to pull some energy. So um, it says seven kilowatts on the app. The car says 12, a little bit of a discrepancy. This might catch up in a moment, but two minutes have passed and uh, it's pulled 0.13 kilowatt hours. We'll just give it a second just to see how much more it's pulling. All right, so back to the app now. So it's updated. So now it's drawing 11.82 kilowatts, which kind of matches the 12 kilowatts on screen there. And then it tells you how much energy it's pulling or pulled, uh, duration elapsed, and then the um, cost so far, as the app said, 50 cents minimum. There are some situations for DC chargers where if, if um, another car comes up, you've got to then share the power. So that might reduce your draw, but because this is an AC unit, it shouldn't reduce the uh, energy pool if there is sufficient power from uh, the energy supply to the AC charger. So if another car turns up with also three-phase capability at 11 kilowatts, then they should be able to both pull 11. Um, of course, I can't verify that until another car pulls up, which is unlikely today. Um, and whether, you know, we don't have many cars that can pull 22 kilowatts currently, but in the future, can two cars pull 22 kilowatts? Again, that's probably a test for another day as well. Um, so let's see whether we can actually, you know, say somebody's being silly and they want to like, you know, muck around with the charger while someone's charging. So let me just lock this car here. So I've locked my car, all right? And obviously if this car is locked, um, I can't actually pull my side out. It's locked to the charger, which is great. Can, can someone be silly and pull out the charger from the power pole? Um, okay, so that's good. That's actually locked there as well. That's good from a safety point of view and also from, I guess, a vandalism point of view. Uh, you really shouldn't be mucking around with the charger while it's going. You know, if someone's silly enough to muck around with the cable, they might get a nasty shock. So again, if you're watching this and if you want to try something silly, don't. I wouldn't recommend playing with electricity, uh, particularly at such a high draw at 12 kilowatts. You're going to get a nasty surprise. So yeah, so there we go. There we have it. That's the EVX uh, power pole EV charger, uh, the first of its kind in Sydney, which is great, which is really good. I'm very happy to see this. Hopefully we'll see more turn up on our streets in Australia. All right, so let's unplug the charger now. So before we do that, let's check on the app to see how much we've um, used. Okay, so we're still drawing 11 kilowatts. We've um, used 1.5 kilowatt hours. It's been nine minutes. It's only cost 75 cents so far. Now just note too that 50 cents per kilowatt hour is expensive. It's almost on par with some DC chargers and certainly more expensive than suburban domestic tariffs. So for example, we're getting seven cents per kilowatt hour uh, with PowerShop. I'll leave a link to that in the video description below. Uh, but again, if you don't have a choice, if you don't have off-street parking, then uh, certainly you've got to pay these rates. And I think that's a fair compromise for uh, having these facilities in your area. 
All right, so let's uh, end the charging session. Let's press that. You can now unplug the cable. And there's some stats there, 88 cents. You can see the graph, 12.2 kilowatts. And then there, there we go, it took 10 minutes. And you can see the start and finish time too, so good statistics. And I certainly heard a click on the box behind me, which indicates that we're done. Um, and from now, it should be easy enough to just unpull it. There you go, that was easy enough. And same with the car as well. Now here, I've actually locked my car, so I can't do that just yet. So that's one good thing about uh, EVs, that you can lock the charge port. So from here, let's unlock my car. Okay. Even then, you still can't, uh, you still can't pull it out because the charge port is locked. So I'm going to unlock the charge port from the car. Okay. There we go. It should just slip out and it does. Excellent. All right, everyone. That's it from me, Tom from Ludicrous Feed. You've been watching me uh, use a PowerPole EV charger to charge our Tesla Model 3 in inner Sydney. Uh, great to see. Hopefully we'll see more in the future and we'll certainly test them as they come as well. Thanks everyone for watching and until next time, happy charging. Okay, so in the hours between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. Monday to Friday, it's $5.60 an hour. Uh, and that's pretty much the charging you know, time on the street sign there from 8 to 8. So we worked out at 50 cents per kilowatt hour. If your car is drawing 11 kilowatts, that's basically $5.50 an hour or thereabouts. So it's actually almost the cost of parking your car uh, at the same time, as, but you, then you get a free charge, or well, you get included charging as well at the same time. So there you go, that's, uh, that's a good comparison there. And thanks to Joy for pointing that out.